Okay, today I would like to give a tutorial about how to manage our situation. Um, I'm using uh, Mendeley as one of the well-known reference manager. First of all, uh, all of our paper has to put has to be put in the specific uh, folder. Let's say we prepare a folder here in the C, then uh, paper. We put all of the paper here and then we can import all of the files in the paper folder one by one you can use add file and we import we go to the folder paper folder we import this file Okay, so we got this file here, one file only. If uh, we want to import all of the files in the folder, in the paper folder, we can use file menu and then add folder. Go to the folder and click OK now we will import all of the pdf files in the paper folder but if we have new file let's say we add this file to paper folder this one So we have four files now mm, and see it's not automatically import to the mm, Mendeley. If you want to make it automatically imported to Mendeley, you can make it as a watch folder. You can click watch folder and then our folder is here and click apply and ok now all of the files inside the folder paper is automatically import and when you have a new file let's say you import uh, you uh, download from uh, from an internet say we go to Google Scholar and then we search a journal like or the journal and then we got one here and then we download it and then we put in the paper folder now here and give the name hmm. 
this uh, this is free for us to give any name PDF file in the paper folder. This one is the file, so now we have five paper inside this folder. You can see now it's automatically comes one, two, three, four, five. This is the newest one automatically import. So every time you put a new file in the folder. Uh, in the paper folder you will get it in in the automatically you will see it in the mendeley so another things that you can do in the mendeley is organize your uh, reference into some uh, classification let's say i will classify this five files into two classification let's say we will make a new classification class one and classification two another classification here Go to where it can be added. So, if uh, we will classify this paper to the classification one, we can just put it here, just drag and drop this one to classification one, this one to classification two, this to classification two, and this to classification two. So we will see in the classification one there are two files and in the classification two there are three files. Another uh, another interesting thing is uh, here we can put a a paper into two different classification like uh, uh, this uh, algorithm for an system for segmentation and structure analysis in the classification one and also the content is including in a can be categorized in the classification two so you can put it in the classification two in the same time so um, now this paper is in classification two and also in the classification one it's uh, sometimes it happens in the in the uh, when we, we try to review paper okay now i'll talk about uh, the identity of a document or a paper sometimes uh, we got a an identity of a paper is not uh, it needs to be changes or alter or something like that like this one this one the color segmentation and so on yeah um, in the mendeley database it has been uh, saved before so everything here is uh, 
fully uh, automatic read uh, written by Mendeley but for this file uh, Mendeley does know the journal name the year and so on so we can double click here and see what happened and we can search by title in the internet and let uh, Mendeley um, put the detail of the document like search by title so uh, we got a new um, identity years 2001 the journal IGMA and so on uh, if it's correct you can click it's correct if it is not correct you can alter another field of the detail of the document okay let's say let's say it's correct just click the tell of correct okay now we have many document and uh, many papers here and we want we, when we want to write a paper or a thesis sometime we have to uh, use latex let's say so we need to build a bib text document mm -hmm. Mendeley can help us to build this uh, build the bib text document automatically let's see we have uh, many paper now we have many papers here and we want to uh, make the bib text in order to import all of the document in our reference so the tools here and no, go to bib text okay, go to bib text tab here uh, many option here and Mendeley can uh, synchronize the bib text file up to date except for a document that still need review it means that a document or a paper that Mendeley doesn't know uh, exactly the identity of document it can be synchronized okay now what we have to do uh, we have to specify the folder where we want to put the pip text file so we can close and Okay, we go to let's say let's say we want to put in this folder yeah, folder okay click select folder and then if we want to enable synchronize so if there are a new document it will automatically export to our bit text like this one if we want to create uh, all uh, a library for all of a, a document that uh, is saved in the Mendeley we can click the op this option but if you want to uh, create only one collection you can click this one okay we put all of the document make a play and then we will got our bit tag automatically in the folder that we specify specified before this is the folder that we already specified here so here we will got the um, text file this one this one uh, library big tech library that automatically built by Mendeley and we can use it in our latex document 